Hey calculus class, uh, today we're going to talk about different ways of finding volume. And I gave you that video yesterday to, to look at where they kind of walk through the setup on it. Let me try to explain it maybe it's something you can visually you can look at and get an idea of, of how to do this. This is a roll of paper tiles. I don't have all my shapes and stuff from school with me, so you got to use your imagination here. Let's just think of this as a cylinder, okay? Forget that hole's in it. Pretend that hole's not there. It's a nice solid cylinder, okay? And we want to try to find the volume of it. Now, I know you, you're saying, well, we've got formulas from geometry to do that. That's true. But I just want to show you how this works with something that you already know how to find the shape of. So then we get to more complex shapes, you'll see how you can transfer that over and use that. So what the slice method, or some books call it the disc method, is like this. Think of this as like a big piece of bologna. Is really what I say, you know, a big you know, lunch meat bologna. And just take and start slicing thin slices like this. So you put it through the, the deli uh, slice machine, and then you get little slices of bologna. Well, think, what would the pieces of bologna look like? They would look like a thin little uh, circle, right? Okay, so what you've done is you've taken this huge cylinder and cut it into a bunch of little tiny cylinders that have real little thickness because you're just looking at like a piece of bologna. Well, if you took those pieces of bologna and you added them all together, took all their volumes and added them up, you would get back to the thing it started from, right? Well, that's the theory behind this slice method. What you're going to do is you're going to take and come up with the areas. That would be the cross-sectional areas. And then if you multiply them by the thickness, you're really getting a volume. Well, this is the slice method. I've got it written out here. The slice or, or disc method, depending on which book you use. And the formula in the book has this here. The volume is the integral of the cross-sectional area, and then the dx is like that little bit of thickness. So the, remember what an integral does is it sums those up. So you're going to sum up all these little areas times thickness. Well, area times thickness is really volume. So you're summing up a bunch of little tiny volumes to get the overall volume of the shape that you're studying. Now, what we're going to look at for, for this year is we're just going to focus in on the cross-sectional areas being circles, like the circular slice of bologna. Well, the cross-sectional area then is going to be pi r squared. Well, the r is just really going to represent what the radius of that particular slice is going to be. So pi r squared, there's your cross-sectional area times your dx, and then the a and the b are still going to be your bounds of integration. So I know that might seem confusing. Hopefully that video cleared it up a bit yesterday. But let's do some stuff with this problem up here. Okay, what I'm looking at here is this function is y equals negative x plus 4, and that just basically is a line <clears throat> that slants down. It starts up here and ends right down there. Now, I want to find the volume of this. Now, what I'm talking about, you're saying, well, how do you find volume if it's a flat surface? Well, what you have to imagine is what they call a revolved solid. So if you took this line here and you use your imagination and think of spinning that around the x-axis, okay? So this is going to be spun around the x-axis. If we spin it around the x-axis, we are going to get something that almost like a cone-shaped thing then, wouldn't it, on this particular one, Okay? So we're basically saying, how do you find the volume of this cone that's laying there? Well, this is like actually your A and your B, so you're going to go from zero here to where it hits there. But where does it hit there? Where is the Y zero? Well, how are you going to find that? You would have to put in a zero right here for this, and then you would get the, bring the, the, the four over here, and you would get negative X equals negative four, or X equals four. So what's going to hit there at 4? So the bounds of my integration for this problem are going to be 0 to 4. Now, if we're going to use the cross-section being a circle, you're going to go pi r squared. The r represents the radius. Well, the radius is how far is from the, what we're spinning around, the x-axis up. Well, the radius here is kind of small. Here it gets bigger, right? It changes constantly. Well, it's changed based upon that function. So you're going to do the pi r squared to the pi times negative x plus 4. You're going to square that, and we're doing this with the x-axis. That's where the dx comes from. 
Now again, you're allowed to use your calculator to solve the integral for you. You're just going to plug all that in, and that should give you the volume. Okay, now that shape, the, the rate is constantly changed. The radius is going to be whatever this function is here, and you're going to try to track down how it is changing. So you're just going to plug it in there, square it. Why do we square it? Because we really want pi r squared, which is a cross-sectional area for a circle. Remember, this part here represents the area cross-sectionally, and then that's like the thickness. And if you multiply it together, you get volume. Okay? And the bounds, since we are going from here to here, it's going along the x-axis. Whatever axis they tell you it revolves around, that's where we're going to find the area. Okay, so I'm going to give you just a few problems of those to check. Um, and again, it will be part of a homework quiz later in the week. And if you're having trouble with any of those, just email me. I can show you how to work them out. And, you know, take a picture, send it to you, whatever you need to do. All right, so good luck with that. Let me know if you have any issues.